This is a time lapse of me building a raft bed and a media bed. First I draw out a chalk outline on the floor, acts as a template. Here I'm cutting out all the steel and welding the various pieces together. Each bed has about $150 worth of black piping in it. The rest of the frame goes together and then I'm going to lift it up and give it a quick coat of paint. The boards going in this are all pine boards, one inch thick, rough cut. They were from trees that we had cut down on our property. Once it goes together it sort of looks like a big coffin. This is my neighbor stopping in for a visit and then later in the afternoon I had given a tour for a whole bunch of people. I use an EDPM pond liner. Here it is going into place, filling it up with a little bit of water. While it's filling I install the drain and clean up the edges, cut off the excess material. And then throw in a couple rafts to get the plant started. The media bed goes together the same way, just lay it out on the floor as a template, put in all the uh, bottom braces, and weld it all together. I like using the steel because it's nice and strong, it doesn't take up a lot of space, uh, doesn't warp, doesn't rot, and supports the, the liner very nicely with the boards in it. Both beds are each about 45 square feet in area and are shaped this way so that they can meet the curvature of the dome and try to maximize the amount of space I'm using for growing inside. These thick liners are pretty tough to install. Once leaving them out in the sun they do loosen up a bit, makes them much easier. I then install the drain for the bell siphon and then start filling it in with expanded shale. It takes a while to get it all washed and put into the bed. Once the bed's filled with shale, I'll then flood it with water um, and then rinse it all out into a drain, not back into the aquaponics system. And then I install the supply line and plant my pineapple plant. Thanks for watching.